Greetings. So this is going to be for the Taurus and who is coming toward you. April 2019, Sun, Moon, and Rising Time. Please keep in mind that this is general energy, so it may or may not apply to you. If you are interested in me tapping into your own personal energy, all the information that you need to book a personal reading with me will be in the description box below. Thank you so much to all of my new and my old subscribers. I really appreciate your support. If you are new to my channel and you are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. If you are interested in daily pick a card readings, you can follow me on Instagram at Bree Spirit God Insight. If this message resonates for you, please give it a thumbs up. Comment if you'd wish. I'd love to hear from you all. Hey, Taurus. Who is coming for you? Uh -oh. Who is coming for the Taurus for 2019? Okay, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse, the Two of Swords in reverse, the Page of Pentacles in reverse. The King, or I'm sorry, the Knight of Wands in reverse, the King of Wands in reverse, and the Nine of Swords. We have the Knight of Swords in reverse, the Queen of Cups, and the Eight of Cups in reverse. And yeah, I think I'm gonna pull advice with these purple cards here, but I feel like someone that you had a bad ending with is coming toward you in April. I kind of get an energy with the Nine of Swords um, here that they are disrupted in some kind of way about how things ended. Um, and I feel like they want to kind of clear things up and kind of get things back on a better ground. Um, I feel like this is someone that couldn't really offer you anything um, still can't really offer you anything with the page of pentacles in reverse um, you may heavily be dealing with an air sign Gemini Aquarius Libra or a fire sign Sag did I say that wrong air sign Aquarius Gemini Libra fire sign Sagittarius Aries Leo um, but I feel like this person couldn't really offer you much. Didn't really offer you much. Why is the two of swords in reverse? I feel like this person still doesn't know what they want or what they can offer or how they want to move. And I kind of feel like that's where the energy lies at where maybe they weren't able to offer you and still not offer or still not able to offer you much. Is because I feel like this person just doesn't really know what they want. We have the three of cups in reverse clarifying the two of swords. Um, so that could be an energy of you just making a decision within yourself. Like I'm not going to reconcile with this. Or this Ten of Swords energy could be because this was a lover, um, someone that you were dealing with in a romantic way that maybe um, was having an affair or there was some sort of third, third party situation going on. Why is the Ten of Swords in reverse? Got the Four of Swords. Yeah, so I feel like there was a bad ending and there's kind of just like an energy of maybe needing a, needing a break or to think some things over. Um, but I kind of feel like this person here sees you as someone who is very nurturing or very loving in a certain kind of aspect. And I feel like that's kind of what they're wanting to achieve from um, coming toward you in April. We have the Eight of Wands. So... Yeah, I feel like it's kind of more so based off of impulse. 
Um, I'm not getting that this person is really trying to, um, I don't know. Hold on. Let me see. Why is the king of wands in this? I got the seven of swords on reversed. So yeah, it could have been a thing in the past where this person was being sneaky and um, they may have been lying or just doing things outside of what you two maybe had agreements and understandings on. Um, and I feel like this person is coming in, in, like this person is coming correct in the way that they're coming, but I still feel like they're very unsure of what it is that they're wanting. I just feel like there's some sort of impulse of just them wanting to reconnect, um, clear things up. And after um, kind of relieving some of the heavy energy when it comes to a bad ending, I feel like they're just wanting to kind of um, not leave things left off at a sour place we have the hangman in reverse so i feel like this person is just kind of flowing i don't feel like they're really expecting much or wanting much um need more clarity on the queen of cups why is they yeah with the eight of cups in reverse next to the queen of cups it's like they don't want um, to emotionally um, detach from the situation. I feel like there's something about you, Taurus, that makes them feel comfortable, that makes them feel at home, that makes them feel safe or stable, something like that. Tauruses or earth signs in general tend to have that tendency on people. Um, but I feel like that's kind of what they're coming in for. Not for really wanting anything. I feel like this person still doesn't know what they want. Um... Why is the Nine of Swords here? I just feel like they may be going through um, some harder times right now. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So there's a delay in prosperity coming in toward them. Um, maybe a job, money, things like that. But I just feel like they just feel comfortable with you. And maybe there's a wanting to release whatever bad endings there were and get to a place where you two can kind of talk. And this person can be able to express themselves to you. Um... That kind of thing is what I'm getting. Got the star card. I also feel with the Queen of Cups here that this person sees you as someone who is very um who is one for one very empathetic. So like you can kind of um like they see you as someone who may be open-minded in the sense that you can help them like very wise, um, having a lot of experience or just knowing how to say certain things and knowing how to um, interpret certain things or not even interpret, but um, convey certain messages so that it makes sense and so that it's helpful um, and provides faith and hope for people and I feel like this is kind of what this person is leaning on here with wanting to come back in so let's see what your advice is Read these cards upright. I know I sh I'm shuffling them in a way where they can come out reversed, but what is the advice for the Taurus? I don't see this person coming toward them. Yeah, that's a lot of cards, but the Hermit card came out, the Sacred Chakra, and the Eight of Wands. So, I feel like this is more so an impulsive kind of act. Um, I feel like this is something that can provide enlightenment or just um, maybe clear up some things in the way that you feel about the way the situation left off or about this person in general. But I feel like there's a need to um, 
I don't feel like there's a need not to talk to this person or whatever. And, like, do whatever you're going to do, you know. Who am I to tell you what to do? But I'm just trying to offer advice. You know, you don't have to take it. But I just feel like it doesn't need to be a thing where it's like, oh, don't talk to them at all. Or don't go back there with this person type of thing. Because I don't feel like this person knows what they want anyway. So I don't feel like things are going to really grow into anything anyway. Um, I just see it as a thing of you needing to protect yourself and not. Because like I said, this person is trying to come in to obtain some sort of comfort. And what this connection offered to them. So offer that to a certain extent if that's what you want to do but I feel like as far as getting back trapped into the same cycle of whatever things were I feel like that's not a good idea so I hope that this reading helped you um please give it a thumbs up if it did if you are new to my channel please subscribe if you are interested in a personal reading all the information that you will need will be in the description box below thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time